guys, it's Kalanika here. So today I'll be doing how I photo shoot myself video. I'm going to talk about types of photo shoot, locations for photo shoot, and poses, and all the other stuff about my self photo shoot. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about types of photo shoot. First, there are selfies. Second one is a mirror selfie. Third one is like using the camera timer. Like when you're photo shooting yourself, you have to use a timer. So third one is a camera timer. The fourth one is a silhouette photo. Fifth one is someone else taking a photo of you. Technically, it's not a self photo shoot, but still, um, you can get a good photo with that. So yeah, these are the types of photo shoot. Before you start a photo shoot, you have to get inspired by someone else. And my inspiration is at bumkey k in instagram he's actually shiny key as you guys know i stan him but at the same time he's my inspiration for photo shoot because if you look at his photos it's really good so he's my inspiration for like location and poses and all that so i feel like the important thing is to look for someone who's good at photo shoot and stuff and just kind of get inspired by them My first best place for my photo shoot is my wall because it's decorated, there's lots of things going on here. <laughs> taking a photo in front of a blank wall and taking a photo in front of a decorated wall makes a lot of difference. So I really recommend taking a photo in front of a busy background. Decorating your walls, I feel like that's the best thing to do when you're photo shooting yourself at home. The second location for photo shoot is somewhere with nature like grass, oceanside, beach, forest, anywhere works or like flower bushes or flower field. The first thing that's nice about taking a photo outside is if there's nature you don't have to like do anything because it's already decorated and the second thing that's good about taking a photo outside is the sunlight because sunlight is way better than taking a photo with LED lights. The third location is somewhere with art or drawing. For example, there's wall murals or art museum or any type of museum. I don't really take a photo inside a museum, but some people do so that works too. I really like wall murals because there's lots going on in the background and some wall murals are really pretty so you can just like go with that. If you see like wall murals in the street when you're walking around then definitely go take a picture. The next location for photo shoot is cafe or a restaurant. I feel like that one is like the best one out of all the locations because you can actually take a photo of your food and yourself and also I feel like you don't really have to pose really hard you can just like pretend like you're eating restaurants and cafes they are really hard to find like they're probably around you so you can just go and take a photo shoot first pose that I'm gonna talk about is jumping but I don't recommend doing this because it's just so basic everyone does it I mean like it's really basic but you can still do it if you really have nothing to do second one is if you're not comfortable with showing your face or if you have like no pose to do you don't have to show your face all the time so you can just kind of show your back walking or just like looking at an art piece. The next poses are eating something or holding something. Eating something is like eating and posing at the same time. Holding something I'm talking about like holding your dog or holding your cat or holding a flower, holding your phone. I think holding your phone is like a really natural way. Holding something I use a lot. The next pose is Pretend like you're looking at something else instead of the lens. If you look at my photos on my Instagram, most of them I'm looking at somewhere else. Cause I can't really take a photo of me like just looking straight to the lens. I always like roll my eyeballs or I just kind of like look over there or over there even though there's nothing. You can photo shoot when it's golden hour slash sunset. For those of you who don't know what golden hour is, while the sun is setting, kind of makes it orangey outside. I'll show you some examples of golden hour selfies. She's asking how will I know you? So 
So my first tip when I'm taking a photo in my room is turning off all the lights in my room and then using the flash mode. When you're using the flash, you kind of want to make sure like the flash is like only focusing on you. When you like turn on the lights, it kind of bothers it and there's no point of using the flash mode. The second tip is back camera is way better than the front camera. Front camera, as you know, it's like really tiny and the back camera is a little bigger than the front camera. The so back camera has a way better quality so I always take a photo with my back camera. My third tip is wear some accessories such as glasses or earrings. I like to use glasses. Glasses just makes a lot of difference. Even though you don't wear glasses, you can always get fashion glasses. There's this brand called Fermu. They always have like the sales going on and the prices are really cheap but it has really good quality. My glasses from Fermu is this one. Isn't it so pretty? So I will leave the 50% off for frame code in my description box. The thing is that the code only works for a month so if you use the code right now, you can get your frame for half a price. If you use the code a month later, unfortunately the code is not gonna work so go as soon as possible and get your glasses. My next tip is don't take a picture with a filter. If you take a photo with no filter, it may look bad and like not pretty at first, but the good thing is you can edit your photo in different styles. Here are some before and after editing of my photos. How long it's gone, how long it's left. So some of you guys might wonder how I edit my photos. Editing stuff is gonna be in the next video. I'm gonna talk about it in the next video, so please check it out, stay tuned. If you take a good photo of yourself because you watch my video, you're welcome to tag me in your photo on Instagram. I'll be so glad to see it. Please make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll upload my how I edit my video as soon as possible, so go check it out when I upload it. Bye! Shh.